Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Bo. Once again, it's Bhakta Caprice. Um, someone asked a significant question, so I must address it because. I don't see anybody else out there addressing it, so whenever there's some service that needs to be done, and I see that the service needs to be done, I like to jump in. I'm not the kind of guy who waits for service. If there's lint on the floor in the temple, I pick up the lint with my hands. While other people who are so advanced, and they're paying for, they're, they're, they're giving so much money to the temple, and they're, um, <laughs> and they're paying for Sunday feasts, and they look they overlook the small things you know what i'm saying but they i don't know if they i, I can't judge anybody's attent, intentions but um i know what i gotta do you know what i'm saying i do menial labor i do great labor whatever service is there i take it i take my service so i'm taking some service right now someone asked a question is go to taking over i'm not going to go into the difference between go to spelled g-a-u-d-i-y-a second word m-a-t-h I'm not going to, into the philosophical differences. As a matter of fact, let's keep the 100. Because I, I cut straight to the point. I do not play. I'm not here for no games. I love Gaudiya Mat. Your philosophy is very, very strong. The teachings are beautiful. Narayan Maharaj Goswami Ki Jai. And I mean that from the heart. Because Srila Prabhupada appointed Narayan Maharaj who is, if I'm not mistaken, he's the founder of Pure Bhakti, which is another branch of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's tree. He appointed him upon his deathbed. Please, please, please help my disciples. Please guide my organization. Nowhere is it written, you know, either in a room conversation or in Srila Prabhupada's lectures that Narayan Maharaj was supposed to take over ISKCON, which was founded by the universal guru, Jagat Guru. You see, there's a difference between a guru. Guru just means heavy. Anybody that could be heavy could be a guru. So, this word Jagat Guru is a, is a different thing because you know, in the Brahm, Brahmanda or this beautiful cosmos that we live in, there are trillions upon trip, forget numbers. There's innumerable living entities in this one universe, and there's one head guru for all of them. Whether you're an ant, molecular life form, etheric life form, life forms that live in fire, water, whatever you are, your guru right now for the next 9,500 years is Srila Prabhupada. He founded, he's continuing a divine tradition. And I'm going to be honest with you. Gaudiya Mat, although very powerful, has not displayed the Shakti necessary to purify the entire universe that's whether you chant one round or 64 rounds i'm just keeping it 100 with everybody who watches this video they have not displayed that kind of shakti as a matter of fact srila prabhupada received his marching orders maybe 40 years prior to coming to the west and the time you know everything is according to time place and circumstance and krishna is definitely the master of timing because you'll see that when Srila Prabhupada arrived at these degraded shores, <laughs> America was going through great upheavals and turmoils. The feminism movement was in full swing, and that was the beginning of the baby murder in mass. You know, when women felt it was okay to kill their own seeds inside their womb. That's when that was real. That was when Margaret Sanger, that demon Margaret Sanger, she's probably living in the lowest, the lowest regions of hell right now, or a silly ass could have reincarnated as me and got mercy and in the name of these holy names you know what i'm saying it could be me i don't know i have no idea you know what i'm saying but uh, whatever i did in my past life i'm trying to make up for it in this life margaret sanger and her demon self was the baby killer vietnam was the man woman and child killer and all that was was a big old heroin war and you see the results people like nixon fell down the black race was going through a civil rights struggle at that time. The hippies were sitting in trees like monkeys and, and taking feces 
and, and making love to their women in Woodstock, butt naked, dancing in the rain, not taking no showers. This is the degraded situation that Srila Prabhupada had to deal with. This is a man who never ate flesh and was not familiar with all of the immorality that he saw when he arrived here. He was a member of Gaudi Amat. But there is a rule that sannyasis or renounced monks shall not cross over the black waters. Sannyasis don't cross over water. So Srila Prabhupada was really in line with Sastra, with the words of the scripture. He would have never came over here. Then we would have never got no mercy. So the truth is, only, only an acharya, an authorized acharya can break the rules. People like me and, and Joe Schmo and, and Abdul, y'all can't break no rules. We can't break no rules. We got to follow the rules, you know what I'm saying? To the best of our ability. But people like Srila Prabhupada, he is what you call a Shakti Avesha Avatar. Shakti, of course, is the power or the energy of God. Avesha, I, I can't translate that word for word right now, but you can just Google it. A-V-E-S-A. -E -S, S with the little accent over it. So Shakti, Avesha, Avatar. Avatar is incarnation. They say that there's a planet where the Shakti, Avesha, Avatars live. And they are dispatched to this planet in time of need. And he was dispatched. And, you know, he was there in Gaudi Amat, and he was living comfortable in Vrindavan. He said he could have never, he never had to come here. But he had to follow the orders of his Guru Maharaj, which was Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, a person who I admire a lot. Being that I'm from a Jamaican background, the symbolism of the lion is very strong in, in, in my heart. And I used to hang with Rastas, and they had a strong influence on me. You know what I'm saying? So the symbol of the lion, Lion of Judah, Narshring Hadev, Apetamek, all of these things mean something to me. The lion is royalty. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. And this man was known as the lion guru. He never laid down and had sex with a woman, a man, nothing. He wasn't involved with no kind of impure activities. This man, if you read the book of Revelations, it describes people like him. Those people in the white robes on the mountaintop who never had sex. You got to read what these things are saying. But first of all, the biological chemistry of someone who never engages in sexual intercourse is actually sublime. Because when the sperm cells reach the brain, it sublimates the thought process. But that's another video for another time. So this lion guru was so powerful. This vice novel was so powerful that when the enemy would see him, they would cross the street. They couldn't debate with the lion guru. We are lions in this Hare Krishna movement. We're not flower children. We're not dancing around like girls. Matter of fact, something interesting that I noticed, right? A, a, a devotee that I love a lot. I don't know if he noticed this, but he had sent me a, a t-shirt with Sri Chaitanya on it, right? When I got the shirt, you know, I understand that my material senses are imperfect and there's a lot of things I don't understand. But I had noticed that there was something wrong about the energy of the shirt. It just didn't rub me the right way. And ever since I've been spraying this uh, Srila Prabhupada water in my eyes, I see things slightly differently. So this morning I look at my shirt and I'm like, wow, I compare the shirt to the cover of the teachings of Lord Chaitanya book. I said, something's wrong with this picture. The energy is not right. Lo and behold, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's left foot was over his right foot in the picture. Anybody knows anything about Krishna consciousness is that Krishna's right foot is always over his left foot. It's the male energy that contains the female energy it protects the female energy the female energy does not contain and protect the male energy it's the other way around so the right foot should always be over the left foot but in this picture he sent me i don't know if the people who made the shirt did that on purpose sometimes maybe when you do a silk screen maybe it comes a reverse image well, i'm just saying we have to be careful that we keep everything the way the previous acharyas did it and if there's any changes, the changes are to be made by the Acharya, authorized Acharya, not rubber stamp guru. There's a lot of rubber stamp gurus out there right now. Let me tell you something. Taking disciples is a, an extremely dangerous business. As a matter of fact, recently a woman asked me if she could be my student. And I, I paused for a second, you know, because if, if I was here ser searching for some name, fame, or adoration, I would have jumped on it immediately. So I had to be careful with the next thing I answered her. And I said, all right, this woman is coming to me seeking mercy. So I said, yes. But what I'm going to do is lead you to the same person that's guiding me, Srila Prabhupada. 
So in that aspect, I would sound like a Ritvik, but actually I'm not a Ritvik. Ritviks are some of the most learned people in this movement. They are extremely learned because they go by the letter. You can't mess with letters. Srila Prabhupada wrote everything how he wanted it to be and the Ritviks are following that. Nobody can knock the Ritviks for that. The only problem I have with the Ritviks are they are too vehement. The Ritviks are the Hare Krishna version of the Hebrew Israelites. Yo, they will hate on you until you go home crying. The Ritviks are your best friend when you talk in their language. But as soon as there's a discrepancy or a disagreement with a Ritvik, oh man, they're going to come out with these big old snake fangs and start biting you all over. I had to cut off a couple of them from, from New Zealand, some Rakshasa demons, but they're not important. They will be dealt with with their own deeds. You see, this is not a material war, y'all. This is a spiritual war. I keep telling y'all. This is a spiritual war. It ain't going to be no swords and guns in this fight. And if it needs to be swords and guns in this fight, they're going to have to just get it like anybody else. But check it, right? Back to the Gaudi Amat. So, there's people that say, what's the difference between Hare Krishna and Gaudi Amat? There is no difference. There's no difference in essence. Slight philosophical differences, yes. But the difference is now, the whole universe is supposed to follow Srila Prabhupada, including Narayan Goswami Maharaj. That's right, I said it. Even Narayan Maharaj considered Srila Prabhupada to be his Shiksha Guru. His teaching, his instructing Guru. And through the grace of Narayan Maharaj, my teacher Srila Prabhupada received sannyas, the order of renunciation. As a matter of fact, Narayan Maharaj is so graceful and merciful that he is the one that put Srila Prabhupada's body into Samadhi. Look up Samadhi, okay? Um, S-A-M-A-D-H-I. So, there is an intimate bond between the Gaudi Amat and Srila Prabhupada. Okay, there's not to be mistaken. Me, I'm not Iskan, I'm not Ritvik, I'm not Gaudi Amat. I'm not worthy to be called these things. I am here as you guys servant. I see y'all fighting and bickering over pieces of marble. What do I mean by that? Well, I go to a congregation that's considered the other temple. I go to Krishna Balaram Mandir. And apparently right before I came into this movement, I, st I didn't come into this movement in 2010. I started reading in 2010. I came into this movement in 2013. That's when I started chanting Japa and going to the temple every single week. I might have missed two weeks. I might have missed two weeks since last year. And one of those weeks was for the Super Bowl. And that's a given. But the point is, even the night of the Super Bowl, I got to distribute Prasad and awaken a sleeping giant who is here, who this person happens to be mistaken for an old disciple because they say you've been here for many years and this person's like no I'm, I'm new here I just came here in March so this Shakti boy this shock there's some Shakti giants on the way to this movement right now Srila Prabhupada's first wave of new disciples grand disciples are trickling in very soon it will be a wave and then after that it will be an ocean you can't stop this movement and I, I asked the Gaudi Amat Honestly, fall in line. You may have some differences with Prabhupada. That's your personal business. No one can defeat. When when Srila Prabhupada, in, in the, the Indian culture, generally when a person or a baby is born, there's an astrological reading that's cast for them. And one astounding word came up in relationship to Srila Prabhupada's life on this planet. One word came up. Undefeatable. Go to your mind, I'm calling you to grab hands and come home again. So I go to this other temple, right? This other temple is called Krishna Balaram Mandir. Now listen, I can't go into specific details. That's people's personal business. I'm not trying to throw nobody under the bus. But the congregation was much, much bigger before. Now it's broken into three parts. And none of them are cooperating with each other. And I came here in the aftermath of that. And I'm always telling each of those temple presidents, yo, when y'all gonna come back together? But they, they, got, they got some real little petty issues the most petty issue being money you know what money is in the wrong hands money is the tool of the devil mammon Srila Prabhupada did not want mammon involved in this mission mammon has poisoned even our sannyasis in this movement sannyasi ain't supposed to have no bank account if a sannyasi gets 10 million dollars that's 10 million books printed understood straight up 
You know why we don't have no Jagannath temple in the West? Because we got sannyasi sitting on hundreds of millions while householders are starving and growing old and, uh, and going to retirement homes or, or nursing homes or getting buried in potter's fields. This is how we're treating our Hare Krishna disciples. The, how does a Hare Krishna disciple not have life insurance? Like that should just come by default with the job, with the, the beads on your neck. They should be like, all right, here's your life insurance package. This is how if, if things were properly run. But sannyasis, I don't know what's on their mind. I don't know what's going on in this organization. I'm not trying to run this organization because I'm not saying I'm any better than them. You know what I mean? But we need some people who are qualified with pure hearts that could really distribute finances properly. Srila Prabhupada distributed pro finances properly. He said organization and expertise are the two most important things upon his de departure. Upon his departure, Srila Narayan Maharaj was supposed to be act as a shiksha guru or an instructing guru to guide us through these hard times ahead. Somehow now, people are, uh, there's competition. And not to serve the Lord, there's ego-based competitions. Yo, you know how long, ever since I've been quote unquote preaching or sharing this message, I've been being attacked by Narayan's disciples in Gaudiya Mutt. And then they smile in my face and give me books and stuff like that. I don't need to name no names. You know who you are. Shame on you, man. Y'all ain't showing me nothing. People in Iskand ain't showing me nothing. But there's a few people in this movement, genuine, pure souls that's showing me love. And generally, those are the people that's on the outside. Not you advanced brahmanas and pujaris. Y'all have the nastiest, most acidic attitudes I've ever seen. And y'all gonna be dealt with so soon, it's not even a joke. It's these little poor old white ladies that show me love. And, and they, they, oh, you speak so differently from everybody else. You're so compassionate, boom, boom, I get love so much from the outer fringe people but y'all advanced devotees ain't showing no love what's wrong with y'all but your, 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 your japa beads got twisted around your neck too tight you ain't getting enough blood circulation to your brain y'all better wake up in this movement there's people that's coming in this movement that's very powerful and they're coming from some contrary paths of life they coming from jail wait till y'all meet people that that have never had sex in 20 years, have not released any sperm in 20 years, and have been reading the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita and the Bible and know it back to back, and somebody gave them one Srila Prabhupada pamphlet and it just connected all of the dots. Y'all better be careful. Your movement is about to change if you don't purify yourself. Seek refuge of the holy names. I know I sound like a preacher, right? I'm chilling. I'm having fun, because I'm doing what I was invented to do i said invented to do this is a lifetime multi-lifetime process for me and now in this lifetime i'm getting very close to fulfillment i have no fear for protection of this material body if it is deemed that i'm dead i'm already dead <laughs> and no one can save me and if it is deemed that i shall live there is no one that can kill me you will get hit by a car on your way to do me some dirt even dr york told us yo if you make a if you dig a grave for somebody you make sure you dig a grave for yourself right next to them and dr york was very good at character assassination and now look at the result he's eight stories underground locked in a maximum penitentiary facility he can barely communicate and 23 hours a day he's on lockdown you know what i'm saying this is real serious karma when you take on all of these disciples you get their karma look at the sannyasis who initiate all comers look at them physically with your material naked eyes they look different than the people who don't initiate anybody the ones who don't initiate anybody they look light they move light heart light as a feather skin smooth everything the ones who initiate a lot of people and take on that karmic burden do not get your egos twisted out there people whether you Hare Krishna or any other school of thought you take on the karma of your disciples and if you are not pure enough or close enough to God to sufficiently burn that you are going to go to hell and I don't mean that in Christian terms but I mean that in Christian terms Christian terms you are going to go to hell upon death because you have to burn off this karma no it's not eternal but you have to burn this karma off that is a merciful position but it's a dangerous position to take on people's karma 
I don't have all the answers, but go to your mind. I wish y'all would come home and help out the Hare Krishna movement. We already have 108 temples. Y'all could build us up. Y'all can make us stronger. I'm not saying to ignore the Gaudiya Mat Parampara. It's all one big Guru Parampara. We are from the Brahma Madhava Sampradaya that could be traced back 150 trillion years. Where is the difficulty? We eat the same prasad. Our women are equally beautiful. Our men are equally talented and smart. Yo, I was in the temple the other night, man. This black body Prabhu, man, I gotta, I gotta approach him. I don't even know his name. I know he's from Queens. But man, this dude was displaying some mystic cities the other night on that Mirdunga. I'm standing there like a, a fool with my mouth open. And after this was after Rama, um, I always get his name mixed, mixed up. It's not Rama Padra, it's Rama Bhadra. Rama Bhadra, right. Rama Bhadra gave, he always gives nice lectures. He's very learned and erudite. I worship his lotus feet. I don't know nothing about personal about him or no dirt about him. Of course, if you dig up dirt, you look close enough at anything, you're going to find dirt. But I don't care about all of that. I know them lectures he gives is nectar. That man got some demigod qualities himself. But man, this, this Prabhu that plays the Mirdunga in the Brooklyn Temple, yo, that man, he looks more like a Gandharva. He's like, um, he comes from an upper planetary system. The way he was playing, even Lord Indra would be pleased. He, his eyes roll back in his head and the spirit just takes over. He plays the Mirdunga unlike anyone I've ever heard. I know some Bengali devotees, when they touch that Mirdunga, honey comes out of it. But when this Prabhu touches the Mirdunga, fire comes out of it. So I'm understanding that there's, this, there's different forms of sacrifice that can be performed with the different paraphernalia in the temple. Like, this is really a deep process. All of these things that are used in Krishna's service are non-different from Balaram, the Supreme Godhead. You know what I'm saying? And Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Balaram is the one we respect, worship, and adore because he's the spiritual master. But Krishna is the one that we play with and have fun that's my homeboy right there you understand so i just like to say get in tune with your mystic cities and mystic potencies and utilize them for krishna's service this is a direct uh, message to go to your mat because you guys are chanting 64 rounds you got a lot of shakti it has to be directed properly and your hearts must be purified i'm asking y'all don't attack me i'm asking y'all to help me we have a planet that needs us Hare Krishna.